What's up, folks? Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk the match that is gonna happen on Sunday. Today we're gonna see the Chelsea versus Liverpool preview match, and are we gonna see how I think or how you know I'm gonna predict my game, how the game will pan out, you know, and you know who I expect to win, who I expect to lose, you know. The game will be pretty damn good game. Uh, we don't expect anything good from Chelsea versus Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea versus Liverpool, as always, they play, uh, you know, draws, you know, nil nil, one one, you know. But sometimes it's entertaining, you know, especially as Liverpool winning last game, four one, you know. So, and uh, you know, Chelsea wants real revenge, and uh, as much um, Mauricio Pochettino said today. Uh, they really really want to use that as a motivation to change their season and this will make them go to the Europa League or the car or the Euro UEFA Europa League if they win as they have no hopes of Europe as they in 10th or 11th I don't know in the league on the other hand my team Liverpool you know we want to win this cup for Jurgen Klopp uh, the best manager in the world who is living and that will make us you know also motivated and you know we really really want him to win cups as he leaves and you know uh it will really mean something special to us you know knowing that he left winning at least one trophy we still in we still fighting for europa league champions league uh champions league wow i wish Liverpool were in champions league we're still fighting for the league you know and your uh, fa cup so those other cups are there so what I think will happen is that Liverpool rested you and Darwin Nunes and Mo Salah. I don't think they were really injured. They could have played the game. They were just doubtful. But, you know, they didn't want to risk as they risked uh, Dom and uh, Trent. And they both went back injured, so they didn't want to do that. So I really don't know what's going on, why every team is getting... We all know why every team have, is having 900 injuries. It's because these players are playing... 70 games in a calendar year they are playing every after every three months after every three days sorry so that's why so uh on sunday i think liverpool will play a strong lineup um darwin nunes and mosal will be there even if they don't start they will be in the bench uh and you know like liverpool have this young core of players who are really who really want to fight i think dom and uh, trent might also get involved in the game especially from the bench uh, as I saw them uh, in the training today but especially Dom uh, but I don't know about Trent as Jürgen Klopp said it's a day-to-day -day injury where you don't know what you expect them from so whether if you are new to the channel please don't forget to like share subscribe and turn notification to be notified when I upload uh, so these injuries are sometimes you know risky as you expect the player feels good and you think you know he's ready to play and you let them play then the reality comes out and he gets injured again chelsea also on the other hand are really dealing with a lot of injuries a lot of players are out injured you know Nkunku has been out for most of the season you know um so Rhys james ben chilwell all are injured uh so you know the team is also not in a good shape as uh mauricio pochettino today said uh, uh diego alfa diego silva might play I was thinking about Diego Alves, I don't know, because of the reason, things that he did recently. So that's why he came into my mind. So yeah, um, that's another thing. Um, if, you know, let's say, uh, whoever plays with uh, Diego Silva, you know, that guy is a rock at the back. So it's really, really hard to play against him. So Liverpool might have a hard time, especially if these young players are playing. That guy will use his experience, you know, to stop them. Uh, I don't expect him to start Harvey Elliott because Harvey Elliott, uh, it's good when he comes back, when he comes in the game, you know, from the second half, he really brings that energy, you know, even though he's not that fast player, you know, he has, you know, uh, he's becoming more influential in the game, especially in the final third, and, uh, you know, it's a really, really good thing to see it's so many players. Uh, it's sad to see, you know, uh, Katia Jones, uh, Diogo Shota, who has been really, really, really revolutionary this season, are not going to be around. Uh, Alisson is a big miss, you know, uh, for the final. 
uh, but you know Kelha you know even though he doesn't keep clean sheets and he's allergic to clean sheets you know uh, he plays well you know uh, especially he played well uh, the game against Brentford was it Brentford or Luton one of them he played really well and also one of the Europa League games he really played well I really like the way he played so I really expect him to have a good game and actually I think the last time we played them he was uh, he and Kepa were the, Kepa were the keepers so he, it's not like who is in the keeper you know but it's you know Chelsea Liverpool always they cancel out you know I don't know when the coaches see one another they say let's draw I don't know that's how they you know but I really hope you know that game goes really really good I really expect Liverpool to put all their you know eggs in one basket and you know really really play well and uh, you know in that way I really really want Liverpool to win this game uh, for Jurgen Klopp and I really really want him to live in a good hype you know and also you know whoever comes on um, whether it's uh, Alonso or you know other manager you know Liverpool I we all know that Liverpool do their things without much noise surrounding them but this time I don't know I really don't know maybe it's out of respect for Jurgen Klopp that's why we have not had any news about who's gonna be the next manager not only Liverpool even Barcelona and uh, you know Bayern Munich has not announced have not announced anything so it's understandable you know they are still respecting the managers that are still in the game and which is really really good that's how it should be you know you should respect your players your managers so you know uh, if you're a Liverpool fan how do you feel should we win you know this cup for he, uh, Jürgen Klopp should we you know win at least one more or two more cups I really want us to win the league you know I don't want to hear these fans, Liverpool fans, being uh, everywhere. You know, being roasted for we only winning one Premier League, and you know when we win that second one, you know, it's gonna change a lot of things. But you know, this is the best team we has we have ever had. You know, in the Premier League era, uh, no doubt. You know, and you know, hopefully, <coughs> we see uh, good results, and hopefully, Xavi Alonso, you know, will have loved Zidane to come, but you know. I don't think he knows good English and especially having a lot of scouts or players uh, around he will not understand them and that's why I don't think he's the best uh, there's another video coming up for who will be Liverpool manager and who I want to be the Liverpool manager uh, you guys stay tuned for it um, and I will see you in the next video so if you like this please don't forget to like share subscribe and turn notification to be notified and you know uh, you know just press that subscribe button, you know, and like the video. Let me know what you think about it. So I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. See you.